Hey Leo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of March general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope everyone is doing well. For some reason, I feel like I've had this song for you guys before. I'm not sure, but if I did, you guys would know. But I heard Let's Wait a While by Janet Jackson. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, in the hook of the song, she says, let's wait a while before we go too far. I, I am getting an energy that somebody is being very pushy with the progression of a relationship or a situationship, right? For somebody, either you or your person, somebody sees this as a situationship, but then the other person is wanting more and they're trying to push things um, to move forward at a rapid rate. It could be someone wanting to or talking about moving in together. I did have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is someone who is looking for some type of stability, whether it's a male or a female. Somebody wants to set a foundation. They want something to build on, something to, that's going to have value in long term. And overall, you know, because Pentacles also talks about your actual foundation, your home, your stability, your 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 actual Casa, right? So somebody is definitely, <laughs> and I just heard dwelling, somebody's dwellings. I actually, um, I feel like somebody is thinking about moving in with you or you're moving in with someone, but I feel like two people are not on the same accord about the nature of this relationship, okay? Because I do get a hesitancy, like someone's like, yeah, this is moving too fast, too quick. And also as far as intimacy, I feel like somebody feels as though things are moving too quick also. Now I'm going to tell you, if you are going through or recently went through a separation and you have someone coming back because you did have a six of cups, that is a card of history, having history with someone, someone that you may have deemed as a soulmate. And I do feel like they are, but if you have history with someone and you guys are reconciling and trying to bring back things back together, I do feel like somebody's like, let's do this different this time. So we don't have this crash and burn this go round. Okay. So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We would do the same for your clarifying deck. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of the decks. So once I start shuffling, if I get a reversal, I will read it as such. Okay. Currently at the bottom of the deck, yeah. Ten of Wands, somebody is definitely reflecting on how heavy things were in the past in the situation. And also, some of you guys could see this situation or this um I keep wanting to hear, and I keep hearing situationship, right? Somebody could feel like this is a burden. Because Ten of Wands is carrying a heavy burden, a heavy load. And I meant to tell you guys, you had a lot of fire in your pre-shelf. And of course, you guys are fire signs, but you had specifically Sag. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individual. You also had Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And you had a couple of hints and notes of um, air. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals could play a role in the situation also. So either you or your person, especially if you're dealing with a fellow fire sign, could feel as though the situation is a bit of a burden. But nonetheless, he's still choosing to carry those wands because he ain't got to carry them damn wands, okay? But he's choosing to. He's even strapped up and put his, you know, put his back into it. So I feel like for some of you guys, someone is thinking, oh God, I'm just looking at this helmet. It makes me think about those helmets that they used to wear back in the days when someone had like a lobotomy or something like that. Like somebody feels like I'm out of my damn mind to do this all over again. But okay, let's, let's have another go around, okay? I'm, I'm getting that vibe also. Also, this kind of makes me think about the back in the days, like the pilots. Somebody could work in aviation. Somebody could work as a stewardess. Somebody could travel a lot as well. Mm -hmm. I'm getting someone could travel a lot for work also. Okay. So we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which would be the sun card. We get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And we will get clarifiers for both. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Okay. Change card top and the bottom of the deck again. Now, currently at the bottom of the deck, absolutely. Absolutely. Like I said, somebody is still thinking about some past hurts. There definitely could have been a third party situation here with the Five of Cups, sadness, sorrow, grief, depression. Okay, somebody who feels like I'm waving, even though this flag is not white, but somebody who wants to wave the white flag, aka give up on a situation. If you notice here, you got one, two, three cups spilled over. Behind him, though, there's two cups upright. And the two of cups is a union, a relationship, someone that, you know, is, again, with a soulmate, a strong soulmate bond. But I feel like someone is still dealing with a third party situation or the third party, because it's not always a third party, it's always a person. Third party also could be your emotions, because this is cups, your emotions and your feelings. So somebody's emotions is a third party. 
that's getting in the way of this, you know, this strong relationship that could possibly be had. I'm also going to say if somebody was dealing with something in the past that, that really broke their heart and they're still needing to heal from, because he's on his knees, he's not on his feet, which means he still has healing to do, he or she. If somebody is still dealing with some type of healing, it's like emotionally they are really broken. Like whatever the situation is, it really broke them. Because again, those cups are spilled over. This could have happened in March of last year. This also could be coming up in March of this year. Or there could be three weeks or three months ago. I'm feeling more so like it would be three months versus weeks. Because I'm feeling like it's a little bit of a little bit of gap in the space and time in this situation. Okay. Just being told to party one more time. Bottom of the deck. You guys watching this? Look how many cards we got. Yeah, this is heavy burden. But somebody is willingly going through this again. Cause someone I'm gonna tell you, I'm getting a karmic vibe. Like you may feel like this is your person, or your where this individual feels like this is your person, but it's like you wouldn't keep getting this card. And I'm just literally just parting it randomly. Okay. So let's go through the deck. Yeah. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer with the moon. Things hidden, things unknown, things we do not have clarity about, hidden fears. Um Secrets, you see how this crab is coming to the surface. So again, somebody could be dealing with a cancer or a Pisces. And I did say earlier that we had water energy in your pre-shuffle as well. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get the sun. Card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay. So we, we didn't get that far. So I feel like this is a situation that's going to come up fairly soon. I feel like for a lot of you all, this could be playing out in Pisces season with the moon right here, which is up next, right? So right here you have, in, yeah, you look at this. Ten of swords, ten of wands, and ten is the very end of a cycle. So it's, that's why I said I was getting a strong karmic vibe. Like this is a karmic situation that you need to walk away from. And if it's like, if you continue to move on with this situation, it may lead in further betrayal. Okay. Cause that's source in, in this person's back again, in order for all these wands to be placed on this person's back, you have to allow this person to be close enough to you to continue to put this load on your back. It's the energy of vulnerability. And again, even with this, with that 10 of swords, in order for that many swords to be put in your back, you have let your guard down and you trusted this person enough and they keep hurting you. And then if you look right behind it, you got the death card. This person clearly is dead here. So like this situation is dead and done because it was quite a burden, but somebody still wants to fight for it. Right up under there, you have the, <laughs> the queen of cups. So remember, I was just saying you, you have cancer energy right here with that crab coming out. And then you have the queen of cups. That's cancer energy also. And it looks to be that she's pregnant. For some of you all, you may have wanted to end a relationship. But then you couldn't because this person is pregnant. So this is possibly where the burden is. Or you have cancer in your chart and you may be pregnant. So there's an energy of pregnancy here. And if it's not pregnancy, then you could be, you know, you could be the mother or the father to this individual. You know, you you get what I'm saying? Like somebody, this if you're a male watching this, you could have a child with this individual that we're speaking about. And if you are a female, you could be finding out that you're pregnant. And this has caused more burden because now if you wanted to leave the situation, you feel like you can, you have to work it out. Even though you both may know that it's already done. It's done and over with. This is major arcana, so that's definite energy. Again, more water sign energy with Scorpio there for the death card, okay? Let's get a clarify for the ten of swords and the death card. Whoo! You got, look here, bottom of the deck, ten of swords again. This is done, uh, okay? Now, in this card, the swords are hovering out his back. Yes, yeah, so the message I'm getting with this is they're hovering out his back and not directly in his back because you're like, okay, let's give it one more chance. But in this card, those swords are directly in his damn back. And I always say when I get this, you see how you have that line right there, you know, in a hospital when they, you have a little monitor and it goes, doo -doo, doo -doo, like to sh show your heartbeat and stuff like that, somebody has flatlined. Like somebody has flatlined, it's done, it's over with, you know. But I feel like there's one person specifically who wants to keep fighting it, and it could be two. You both could want to fight for it, but it just looks like you're not gonna keep getting this if something is not meant to end. And then you got the death card too. You guys are watching me shuffle. I'm not. I don't pull the cards for myself. I feel like somebody, somebody may want to be in denial, but it's like the truth is coming to the surface. You can no longer deny it. Okay. It, it looks like this situation is done and over with, but. It could be a pregnancy or if no one's pregnant situation, if there's a child involved, it's a child that's keeping 
this situation together or you two may have known because remember i said i've seen the six of cups you two may have known each other since you were very young and so the history is there so it's like i'd rather move forward with somebody that i know and i know the history i know what i'm looking forward to than to start to end something and start all over again but it's just gonna make you feel very defeated i'm just telling you that right now okay emotionally dead you know it's how you can feel so let's part the deck you got the nine of pentacles single woman single man again i'm gonna say somebody knows this ending this ending there's an ending somebody knows that they will be better off single okay and i did say earlier on the third party situation you see behind our back there's one two three pentacles again doesn't have to be a physical person it could be more so than anything that just emotionally somebody is leaving something behind because her back is facing it and also we are currently in a six year 2022 two plus two plus two is six she has her hand on six pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you all are going to be single this year or you're going to be single from this situation because it, it has like an ending written all over it, you know. And now I'm hearing a song that's written all over your face. You don't have to say a word. Like you both know that, you know, you both know that something is done. And I keep hearing dead and done. Like it's, yeah, something is done. It's a lot of arguments, chaos. Again, I, I, I did see one, two, three pentacles. And you have one, two, three people here. Of these five swords, he's holding one, two, three of the five swords. Okay? So it's something could have been involved in a third party. Could be emotional. Could be an actual physical person. Because here you do have two people in the background. And you got a lot of swords here also. You know, so again, I'm going to say you have the ten of swords twice, two different decks. Then you have the five of swords. It could definitely be a Gemini Libra Aquarius involved in the situation also. Let's get a clarifier for the Ten of Swords. And the Death card, bottom of the deck. Yeah, <laughs> it could be a third party here for sure. Or again, I'm going to say the third party could be emotional dissatisfaction, like somebody who's not happy and content. And you're trying to offer something to this person or this person is trying to offer something to you, but you're looking at the fact that something has made you very unhappy for the past possibly three years, three weeks, three months. I, again, I feel like it's longer. Something has made someone feel very unhappy. And so even though there's an offer coming in, this person is not looking at the offer because it's just kind of like, yeah, this is this been done. This is this has been done for a while now. Let's go. Came out quick as hell, didn't it? You got the ace of wands, yeah. So someone is trying to extend, a, I'm hearing extend an olive branch. And then also for some of you all, even though the situation is done and over with, you may still be physically intimate with this individual, with the Ace of Wands. Because you do notice right here, it looks like a penis head, right? So some of you guys may be done with this individual, but intimately you may still be involved with this individual. And that may be why you're willing to try again, because you guys have good physical chemistry. But also with the Ace of Wands, Aces are something brand new. You know, something being gifted to you from the universe. But again, look at how it's facing the direction of Ten of Swords. Like, even though if you're offering, somebody's offering a new start is what I'm getting. It's still leading in the Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, you have the Justice card. Some of you guys can be married to this individual with the Justice card. Skills being balanced, okay? Um, some of you guys, I did, I, I have said air sign, energy. Some of you guys, it could be a Libra with the Justice card. And also, I'm going to say again, karmic justice as well. Because remember I was saying, I feel like this is a karmic relationship. I feel like a karmic relationship is coming to an end also. Let's get a clarifier for the death card. For Leo, someone. Okay. Two of swords. Somebody doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I always tell you guys, sword up, yes, sword down. No, these swords are down. Someone feels like they are stuck between a rock and a hard place. Trying to push their emotions to the back as you see the water behind her blindfolded can't see their way out again more gemini leave aquarius energy with a sword down somebody doesn't want something to end because they they feel like they can't see their way out of it and especially with the justice card popping up just a few minutes prior they may feel like financially there's going to be issues if they decide to leave this union or emotionally because again he's put someone has pushed the water behind them not wanting to address their emotions and feelings and i just want you to see how these cards are this is how it looks on the table so it's like, even though someone is offering something, someone is like, I, I'm not sure I see how this could be a positive thing. Again, because the swords are down and her arms are crossed. But this is also someone who's fighting some type of new start in a different direction. Even though something, you're never, anytime you get a major arcana, whatever cards it comes with, major arcana trumps that card. So, you know, this person, you or your I feel like both of you all could be feeling like this. Especially if there's a child or children involved. 
this is why it's so difficult to decide what to do moving forward because two is about balance. Somebody needs to choose something that's going to be balanced, but someone doesn't know how to do that. Also, someone should have cut off a relationship a while ago, but then they're still being intimate with this person. And I'm saying they, this clearly has something to do with you. Didn't end it completely, you know. But I feel like, again, this is Major Arcana. I feel like the universe is going to come sweep in and bring some type of tower moment, to be quite honest with you. And it's not trying to be negative. I just feel like what I'm, I feel like what I'm saying to you all, you all already know, you know. See, even now I'm hearing the song is written all over your face. You don't have to say a word. Somebody, I feel like you both knew because you had the Ten of Swords twice, okay? So you both felt heavy betrayal from each other, from things that happened in the past. Like if one person cheated, this other person went back to get their revenge or, you know, there was type some type of emotional abuse or some type of financial abuse. Somebody was trying to get some type of revenge. But then also trying to stay in a relationship or a situation for a family, even though both people knew that this was like this. I just want you to see the cards that are surrounding you. Really look at that. That's heavy. But here's the thing. Very positive. You guys are coming out of it though. Because remember you had the nine of pentacles. And that's a single woman, single man who is abundant. They lack a need for nothing. And then her hand was sitting on top of six pentacles. And we are in the sixth year. The sixth year here right now. So it's like this person is finally getting grounded. Because pentacles is about being grounded. So I feel like a lot of you all are getting grounded right now. But you have to make a decision about how you're going to move forward in this situation. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.